Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Blog 101 for Blackboard 9.1. Here in the course assignments, you'll see a blog posted, which is identified by this little icon with the paper and the push pin. So like anything else, we simply click on it and it opens and now we have blog 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 because I was running out of creative names. So what's the biggest difference between a blog and a wiki? Fundamentally it's that once I create my blog entry you can't change it. So what I say is what I say. You can comment but you can't edit it like you can in a wiki. So I'm going to get ready to create my first blog entry and so I'm naturally going to go to create blog entry. So my blog entry today is on ants in my kitchen because I woke up this morning and I have ants. So you'll see that I have all of the regular editor functions that I would normally have in my text editor. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to insert an image into your blog. So I'm going to go to insert image. I'm going to go to browse my computer. I'm going to find my ant picture. I'm going to give it a description, which is ant and a magnifying glass, the title. I'm going to use the same, so I'm just going to copy, highlight it, control C, control V for a shortcut, and I'm going to say insert. So now that I have my picture, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so that we can see it. I'm going to center it. I'm just using all of these normal editor functionalities, and I'm going to start typing about how I feel about having ants in my kitchen. I have called the exterminator. And now what I can do is I can come over here and I can save my entry as a draft if I'm not certain that I really hate ants or I could go ahead and post my entry. And the nice thing is is that as you're working through on your blog, if you want to save it as a draft and keep working on it, you're good to go. Because we have all of these other available tools, I could insert a video of me um, smooshing ants in my kitchen. I could attach a file. I could actually use my webcam to record a video of me smashing ants in my kitchen I mean, anything is available to you. But I'm going to go ahead and post my entry. So once I hit post entry, my computer thinks for a second, then what you're going to see is you're going to see my blog post. And this is my blog post of Ants in My Kitchen. I picked this image off of Pixabay, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y, because all of their images are public domain. And so now what I've got is here is my big post. What can you do then is you can come in and you can comment. Comment works exactly like it does in the blog. And I could simply post, I hate ants too. I could spell check it. I could hit add. Now when I come back to the blog, what I can see is that I have one comment on my blog where Linda Williams says, I hate ants too. So the blog is very much like the wiki. The biggest difference, remember, is that once you make your blog post, people can only comment. They can't come into your blog and actually change what you have written. So I think this helps. Um, I am off to smoosh ants and wait for the exterminator. Have a great day.